just tap it. Yep. Good. Okay. Yeah, and I don't want via device audio. Okay. Yeah, I also want to.
What time is it anyway? It's 20 minutes till nine. We should be getting ready. Good morning. Good morning, dear. I'm here, but I'm going to sit on the couch and eat my cereal. So tell them Carolyn's on, okay? Okay. Well, why is nobody on here? Usually, Father Wilbur's already there. Because it's not quarter to a quarter to nine. They usually they usually get up by quarter to nine to to five to nine. Okay. Listen, I've decided you and I are going to try something. Tomorrow, yeah. come to my house and be inside. We will talk outdoors about music with the masks outdoors, okay? And then we will come into the house no longer than 15 minutes with me at the piano. Okay? Are you okay with that? All right. Let's try that late afternoon. All right. When it gets too hot to do anything out there, we've been working heavily in the garden and everything. Lots of stuff has been happening in the back. And um, so I want to try it. And they say that, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of contact, close contact without a mask is dangerous. But being in the house, we've been in the house. You know, so I want you to be in the house no longer than 15 minutes, okay? Barbara, do you have your ears on? But we wear a mask outside and inside, right? Yes. We're going to try 15 minutes inside, but we may try 30. We'll sit outside 30 minutes, okay? Okay. In the we shade of the tree, the big pear tree. So wait till late afternoon. It'll be hot as Hades, but it'll be shady, okay? Okay. You got it? What time? How about 4.30. 4.30, okay. Yeah, give us a chance. To, we always watch the 5.30 British Broadcasting News, okay? Okay. All right. You're All supposed right. to smile, Dag, on it. We're trying a piano lesson. <laughs> Dag on it, and that grin like holy Christmas. <laughs> Barbara, do you have your ears on? So, say that again. Do you have your ears on? Yes, I do. Then I don't know why you're not no, hearing no, me. No, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> At least we've got them on before the group starts. I've got to go eat my cereal, okay? <laughs> All right? Okay. All right. I got to eat my cereal. And Michael's coming too. Michael, let's eat our cereal.
Good morning. Good morning. When this was written and this was happening, these people didn't have the example of Jesus Christ. So mm -hmm. how, how to know God and to trust him without mm -hmm. what we have now is, I, I, it, it confounds me and I don't understand it. And since I'm the mother of two sons, it's particularly um, difficult. Uh, but oh, I have an idea. Yes, okay, who's that? Who's that? Talk this up. is Jeff. Go, go ahead, yes, yes, yes. Um, the one thing that um, I just realized, I've heard this many times, but it never occurred to me. The logic of it is very simple. If, his, if he brought his son and he followed God, God gave him the ram. If he followed um, himself and did not bring the ram, sorry, did not bring his son, then God wouldn't have made him because God would have said, well, you didn't bring, you know, what I asked of you. In neither case, his son is sacrificed. So his son was never in danger. Oh, oh very good. I think you, I think you've been playing too many card games. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's very that is that is wonderful. Uh, yeah, excellent, excellent. Uh, and you're right that the what what hits us in the in uh, our day and age is that uh, you know Abraham was actually yeah just going to go ahead and uh, and. Uh, sacrifice Isaac. Uh, it's a powerful story because you know that Isaac is a special blessing to Abraham and Sarah, right? They mm -hmm. had prayed and prayed and when, just when they were about to give up, God came through. And now that they have this precious child, this wonderful young man growing up, just, just excellent. Uh, now he's challenged to give Isaac back to God. Uh, now, by the way, uh, I, I hope you know that human sacrifice was very common uh, in the ancient Near East. Um, so, so what is being asked of Abraham is going on in, in all the cultures around. Some have tried to make the, the passage look good uh, by saying that this story was told deliberately so that we see God putting a stop to human sacrifice. Uh, mm -hmm. The Bible, you see, the Bible itself doesn't, the Old Testament doesn't indicate anything like that, but that it was a real and genuine test. Abraham did not know that God was going to stop, uh, stop him just at the right time. But nevertheless, it is, uh, it's, it's a powerful thing that goes on powerful message uh, of you know trusting in God if God has given then God will take uh, and almost allow the passage to speak to us um, individually what what is God asking of you uh, thank God this is one of the things I enjoy with my students uh, I enjoyed with my students I, I would we would read this passage in ethics by the way and say, okay, would you do? Would you would you kill uh, your brother if God uh, if God asked you to? And they would use expletives like "hell no" or stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> and I said, but you're a good Christian. Why would you disobey God? And it is a a wonderful lesson to struggle with dilemmas, really terrible dilemmas. But I thank God that there's uh, there's growth in in moral thinking, right? Meaning. Human dignity is the highest peak. And as we go through the years, we see things improving. By the way, we are still doing horrible things to human beings. Okay, so we haven't really advanced that much. We may not be sacrificing uh, you know, children uh, at the altar, uh, but the other things we're doing are even as bad. The, Reading this passage and think about it, I happen to listen to uh, Russell Banks. Does anybody know Russell Banks? Mm -hmm. It's a marvelous writer. Uh, it, and Russell Banks was, was uh, talking about uh, 
we have we are sacrificing our children uh, to the god Moloch, the god of capitalism. That's in Leviticus. Okay, there you go. He, so Russell was just getting that image from, from Leviticus, from the Bible and, and presenting it. And we are doing that. He said, you know how? Uh, by, by age three, young children can remember a hundred brands because all commercials are aimed at our children. And stuff like that. What other things are we doing? As I listen to Russell saying, what other things are we doing uh, to sacrifice each other. So it's, a, it's always a challenge in Christianity. What are we uh, willing to give up in order to obey God? Abraham really has stood for um, an image of faith. There, there are many times God will, will call us to do extremely difficult things. That's the point. Very difficult. Very, it's, it's not going to be something trivial. It's going to be something heavy. Are we ready to do that? Most of us, beginning with me, find ourselves falling short. <laughs> but God sees the intention in us. We seek to do good. We seek to do righteousness. We seek to be the people God calls us to be. And that's a great challenge so that each and every one of us is to put ourselves in this situation and say, mm -hmm. what would I do if God asked of me to give up one of the most precious things I have? So keep thinking. And if God shares a special particular word with you, please share it with me for the next someone, okay? <laughs> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He's always leading us in the song, in the, in the Apostles' Creed. This is everything. Yes. Take it away. Okay. Are you guys muted? Carolyn and Jeffrey, can you see the slide? Are you there, Mom? Oh, I, I don't, okay, Jeffrey will just have to go. Oh, she's there. She's there. Okay. But she's muted. Carolyn, you're muted. I'm not anymore there. That, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. The communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. The resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also with you. And also with you. <laughs> Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Patricia, would you be willing to help with suffrage B? Yes, sweet. Um, yeah, uh, yes. Okay. Save our. How about else? Elizabeth? How about Elizabeth Keel? All right, I'm here. All right. Do you want to start? Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. 
govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, to keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And also with you. Thank you. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching that we may, we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 O God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 So this week we hold in prayer and all our members and attenders listed there. Uh, continue to pray for Julia Baker. We want to thank God because she's doing very well. Those who have spoken to her know that, right? Mary, mm -hmm. did you call you recently? Yes, I, I said at the beginning that she seems to be doing very well. She's walking uh, reasonably comfortable, comfortably, yes. and she's uh, enjoying her pain meds. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, it was good to see uh, to see her last Sunday. And uh, uh, is, is, did Julia not make it to the Zoom meeting today? No. Good, okay, but we she, she's sounding very, very good, and we want to thank those of you who gave something to help Julia. Uh, the Lord is blessing us in this parish in the way we minister to one another. Keep also Carrie Blaho Owens in your prayers. We pray. Lee and Susan Powell, Bob and Paula Ranson. Are there other members and attenders that we need to keep in our prayers? Very good, very good. Uh, uh, our friends and family, uh, we have especially Joel Slifer and all those names mentioned uh, listed on our prayer list. Is there anybody else we need to add to this list? My mother who's suffering very much from isolation and loneliness. Oh, sorry. My daughter, Carrie. Um, our daughter, Rachel, and her family are traveling this week to North Carolina. Okay. 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 Our son Aaron is also traveling to North Carolina mm. after his latest wrestling match in Florida. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope he won. <laughs> I don't know who got the belt. I didn't see the, the match. Yes. Uh, uh, you ask, tell him we're praying for him. I don't know that wrestling is the right thing to be doing now, but uh, we're praying it's for what he does. <laughs> it's what he does. And uh, uh, many people are in trouble because it's getting so boring and uh, we, we need the sports to continue. But I 
uh, taking care of our health probably gives us another day or two to continue. So, I'd like, uh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I'd like to pray for my sister-in-law's the repose of her soul. She died a couple of days ago of breast cancer in Columbia, mm -hmm. South Carolina. And for her family, it was just a month ago that her husband, Randy, um, Randy had a massive, massive coronary. And thank God he's still alive. And his son, Connor, just went back to the military. He was on leave because of corona. And he's gone back to the military, but it wasn't listed in the email as to exactly where he was, if his daddy knows. He's in military intelligence, I believe. That's why. Okay. Uh, so uh, for those who have mentioned uh, the various names we've mentioned on our family and friends, if you could send Dora an email, so we put those names on the list for uh, for Sunday's prayers, so we continue to commit all of them into God's hands. Thank you. And, yes, and uh, uh, we continue to pray for uh, all in the military and all in arms way. If you could say with me uh, the first names. Andrew. Andrew. Brian. Brian. Casey. 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 Peggy. Peggy. Colin. Colin. Douglas. 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 William, William, Scott, Scott Keith, 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 Dylan, Dylan Damien. And Randy? And Randy? Yes. Okay. Randy? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, when we talk about uh, all in harm's way, there are so many uh, new examples now uh, that probably fall in the next category, which is our first responders, uh, you know, so, so keep all of those in, in, in your prayers and keep adding names. Remember always, uh, if you have a prayer request, send it to us and we, we will add it to the list. And so uh, we go to the next prayer, um, pray for our towns and rural areas. Lord Christ, when you came among us, you proclaimed the kingdom of God in villages, towns, and lonely places. Grant that your presence and power may be known throughout this land. Have mercy upon all of us who live and work in rural areas, especially Chatham County, North Carolina, and grant that all the people of our nation may give thanks to you for food and drink and all other bodily necessities of life. Respect those who labor to produce them, and honor the land and the water from which these good things come. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. 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 Please say, say that prayer with me throughout the week. Uh, quite often, uh, our rural areas are neglected. And uh, yet, when they have problems, really, they do suffer quite seriously. Uh, we know that uh, if COVID breaks out in a rural area uh, without all the medical needs, they, it is a total mess. Uh, mm -hmm. So keep, keep them in, in your prayers. Uh, a thing that Michael mentioned to me a couple of weeks ago, and we just heard on television this morning, and mm -hmm. you know, a couple of weeks ago, we heard that the Native Americans were Navajo. The Navajo particularly were being hit hard by COVID. And also this morning we heard on the news that it, I think it was a North Carolina uh, chief who said we need to consider we, we need to consider all people who are different. Uh, and all people who have been um, subjected to abuse. Mm. So true. Thank you. Thank you. And so uh, we continue to pray for uh, all who are ailing with COVID-19. Uh, pray especially that God will help us all to control ourselves. Uh, I'm shocked at the numbers I'm hearing. Uh, and I thought 
I thought Governor Cooper had done a good job. Why North Carolina is only with numbers going up? I don't know. All those affected and all um, who have passed because of this. Pray especially for our first responders. Uh, those who are there, the nurses, the doctors, the ER technicians, uh, firemen, and uh, police, pray for all of them as they seek to take care of us. I think we have um, Sia and Al take it away. Yes. Sanctify, O oh Lord, those whom you have called to the study and practice of the arts of healing to prevent the prevention of disease and pain. Strengthen them by your life-giving spirit that by their ministries, the health of the community may be promoted and your creation glorified through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray for our friends and family to COVID-19. Um, it is sad, but the numbers are going up. Patricia? A prayer for those we love. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to your never-failing care and love for this life and the life to come, knowing that you are doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, I thought we had prayed for the country, our country. Right. No, Pierce and Elizabeth. Yeah, a prayer, a, a, a prayer for the parish. Is it a prayer for the parish? Oh God, by your grace, you have called us in this diocese to a goodly fellowship of faith. Bless our bishops. Samuel Rodman and Ann Hodges Koppel, and other clergy in all our grant that your word may truly be truly preached and truly heard, your sacraments faithfully administered and faithfully received. By your spirit, fashion our lives according to the example of your son, and grant that we may show the power of your love to all among whom we live. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Prayers for our country. Almighty oh, God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we only ask you that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of your favor and glad to do your will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought here out of many kindreds and tongues. Endow with the spirit of wisdom those to whom, in your name, we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to your law, we may show forth your praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in you to fail. All which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, 
You have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come everlasting life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Wonderful. Some announcements. Uh, Mary, do we have anything? Uh, just remember your pledges and have we heard anything as to uh, when the uh, sanctuary might be open yet? I don't know. Uh, no, no, no updates from the diocese as such. Okay, um, so we don't know that it's July 1st yet? Um, they st that's still holding, uh, but, but I think maybe by tomorrow they will be sharing something with us. Okay. Very good. Um, I want to also be especially thankful of the Flower Guild, who yes. was here bright and early this morning, refreshing the flowers that they placed yesterday. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth and Tony. They are beautiful. Yes. And we made sure to have them right here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're growing uh, hard, and they're just gorgeous. So I wanted to share them this morning. Thank you. Kevin is working on upgrading uh, the hardware for the Wi-Fi system. So that okay. will be obviously very helpful whenever it gets done. Yeah. The very good. hardware should arrive today. It's, I looked at the tracking on it this morning and it's out for delivery today. So I may get up this afternoon or tomorrow and mm -hmm. uh, we should have full strength in the sanctuary then. Oh, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I'd Thank like you. to make a little announcement about birthday cards and celebration cards. Um, mm -hmm. Wilbur has asked that we use um, Jackie Lawson to send to people. Uh, two things. A lot of people don't know that we are able to send e-cards. And the other is a lot of people don't know who Jackie Lawson is and think it's a stranger and won't answer it when they see it on email because it only is being sent by Jackie. And I don't sign it with my name, I sign it, your friends at St. Bartholomew's. So if people want uh, a card sent to somebody, let me know, um, uh, I, w we can get it to, and, and then let your friends and family know if, you, if, if we're doing that, that to expect a card labeled from Jackie Lawson, and I've, in the years, it, I thought it was just five, it's way more than five years I've used them, and I've never had a virus problem. They're gorgeous. Uh, are you not able to, you can sign, you can sign, uh, you can sign your name as uh, uh, Colin uh, on behalf of St. Bartholomew. Can't you do that? Well, perhaps, I hadn't thought of that one. But yeah. I, I, I don't want to take the credit for it. It's coming yeah. all from the church. Yes, yes. Uh, but you're, you're sending on behalf of the church. Okay. In, but in, 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 all right. In, in okay. Fact, on behalf of the church, I will do that. I don't know how much will show up on the, on the. Okay. Yeah. Is on there the, a way uh, on the uh, on that line? Okay. Is there is there another way of? Uh, mm -hmm. Can you can you call? Can somebody put me on the line with Jackie right away? I need to talk with her. We need to have <laughs> uh, she's probably having um, her, her dessert from lunch right now. <laughs> Very good. So th thank you. Uh, thank you, Carolyn. If there's a way of doing that, this is good. And then uh, I was looking at my notes for today. Uh, Mary and I, will, uh, and all who can help me, will organize so that we want to begin sending hard copies of, uh, of uh, our care cards to the shut-ins. Want somebody to send one to uh, um, to uh, Molita Wardell, Judy Peretti, and Bob, Lynn, and Charlie, 
So Mary and I will, will go through this. Uh, the Vestry usually does it uh, when there is a need to call, but we want uh, other people other than the Vestry to send this, these cards where uh, on a rotating basis of like once every two weeks, we want to send a card to them to, to let them know that we are thinking of them and we, are, we understand they're taking care of themselves, they can't join us, uh, but uh, we, we care for them. So if you know somebody that you need to put on this list, please let me know, uh, because Mary and I are going to start tomorrow to be sending these cards out. And quite a number of them may be routed through Debbie, our angel. She's been sending some good cards out. Debbie, are you on the line? I am. Very good. Thank you so much, Debbie, for what you've been doing. This is a, an amazing, beautiful ministry, uh, just being in touch with God's people. Um, so maybe, maybe you know, maybe COVID-19 is teaching us some lessons, right? Right. Um, we should actually be doing this on a regular basis, even when we are here in person, writing and sharing with those who are chatting. Thank you so much. Now, uh, so uh, the next thing we go to before I make a last announcement is birthdays. And we have Samantha, uh, we're celebrating a marvelous birthday. Samantha. No, I'm not. You... I'm not. It's not till, for another two weeks. Okay, very good. Very good. So remind us to, uh, to, to, to sing in two weeks. <laughs> okay. okay. Absolutely. Father. Thank you so much. Anybody else that's celebrating birthday? Very good. Last, last item I wanted to share with you uh, is, uh, you remember I had said we need to think of ways of uh, being healing agents in this atmosphere and that maybe God is giving us opportunities to, uh, to, to minister to people, to bring healing. And here's one thing that uh, I've been thinking about uh, for the past two weeks. Uh, African-American churches are known for uh, giving rights to people who cannot get on election day or early voting or, uh, uh, or even on election day uh, because they can't get to the polling station by themselves, not, not traffic or not, not transport or something like that. And this is one of the things that they do. And I was... Uh, thinking, how about we talk to the various churches in Pittsburgh and maybe Chatham County and say, we, are, we want to organize a way of finding out if anybody needs a right uh, to go voting on election day, that we offer, uh, we offer that service as St. Brad's contribution and working maybe with the other churches can you can some of you chew on that and share some of your thoughts okay so this is pretty serious i want to hear some uh comments from you all as children of god so that it's not just me coming up with things and thinking about it. let me know what you think what do you think about that idea of participating i think it's a fine idea mm -hmm. very good see so it's something we can yes yeah. uh, so i'm i'm very uh, moved by that, that uh, giving people an opportunity to vote is one of the most important things in a democracy, isn't it? And uh, if they're not voting because of various conditions, then we keep perpetuating uh, structures that eliminate some people. And so that's one of the ways we can, we can help. So uh, I'm convinced that uh, we need to do something like that but I need to hear some of your thoughts. So the Spirit guides you, please email me, uh, and God bless you, Tom. You know, I'm not in the area, but I got to say I'm really glad to hear that there's something people are doing about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we just need to do more, more things that show our care and concern for God's people. Thank you. So now, uh, yeah, if there are no other announcements, uh, uh, by the way, we wanted to thank all of you who have contributed and even contributed especially for, to, to overcome our deficit. God bless you all. Uh, this is a marvelous parish. We are a small parish, but uh, 
that God is, is doing. To each one of you, uh, God is doing great things. So I say now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, with, with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. And now the our service is ended. Uh, and, and now you can go grab your coffees and waters, and uh, and uh, we'll be here for another three minutes of fellowship and coffee. Hour. Good. I'm waiting for the brownies. <laughs> we'll be waiting for a while. <laughs> I'll make one and email it to you. <laughs> oh, I realized that um, there will be two. There, there needs to be two connections for the email cards. The cards that come from Jackie Lawson only say in the sub in the sender line, "Someone has sent you a card." From Jackie Lawson. So what I'll have to do, and I've done it for a couple of people, is send them an email and say, you will be receiving this and tell them um, how I feel that Jackie Lawson is safe because we've used him for so many years. So they'll get two interactions. So please let me know who needs birthday and celebration cards or, or a new book published, something exciting in their lives. Is there a cost? That's uh, a cost. Yes, there's a cost. I it's so minimal, I don't worry about it. It's a gift to the church. It's truly minimal. And if you look on the Jackie Lawson site, you will be shocked as to how many gorgeous things you can do. They and are fantastic. It isn't just for celebration. I mean, it, you can be, it can be anything. It, rang, it ranges from, from, it's all animation. There's a lot of music. Some is composed by one of the... Jackie Lawson composers. I found a gorgeous card this week that I'd never seen before, where the, a soprano was singing Ave Maria. And uh, that, that just felt like a birthday blessing to me. And so if anybody wants to look at JackieLawson.com and it's spelled J-A-C-Q-U-I-E, you might want it for your, own, for your own use. It's exceptionally cheap. So go for it if you can. I think she's got um, followers all over the world. They're British. And so that's why our cheap uh, registration, annual registration or every two years is um, able to support them paying for their artists and their composers. Thank you, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Okay, no Paul, there'll be a blessing on you all. <laughs> Have a great week. I don't get a commission. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Have a good week. God bless. Is, is, is Jared, Jared and Austin on the line? Jared? They were. Oh, could you, could you keep him? Uh, Jared did. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, so Lots of it. peace, love, and joy to all of you. It's true. That's true. It's so good to see you all. Good to see you all, good people. That's my Jeff, Jeff, where are you? Are you in Concord or, or in Silas City? Yes, I'm in Concord. Yeah. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, and uh, by the way, the chair he is sitting in is what his grandfather used to use every Christmas day. It is the Santa chair. And I'm sorry that CR and Al have hung up. <laughs> that is the Santa chair from his grandfather's house. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Candice. Uh, where's mom? I didn't see her today. Candice, are you still there? I think Candice is gone. Oh, she, she just dropped. Oh, yeah. she just dropped. Okay, okay. Very good. Uh, this is wonderful. Barbara, it's great to see you. Great to see you. How, how, is, how, is, how are you doing over there? Oh, there's Candice. Oh, Candice. I had, I had done the leave meeting button when I heard you said my name. Honestly, honestly, okay. <laughs> well, how's mom doing? She's doing okay. She's really enjoying retirement and has done a lot of art work. Um, we really had a good time doing the poured paintings. So now I just have to figure out 
you know, am I taking all three that I ended up doing to school or just part of them? <laughs> I have to rotate the different artwork that I have in my classroom and I'm a math teacher. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good exercise for math teacher, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Now, uh, beginning uh, maybe uh, on the 9th, I, you know, uh, Terry and the community lunch are going to see about uh, a carefully orchestrated uh, visits and distribution of some foods. Right, Terry? Right. We're starting our pickup and delivery service. The delivery service is going to be around 15 to 20 and uh, then we've organized the balance to be a pickup and the planning's all in the works. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. And I, uh, on, on the night we'll be, what, what are we doing on the ninth, Terry? Uh, from noon until 1.30, will allow people to gather down uh, the side on Hart Street and be admitted into the area where we're yeah. closing off our side street. And we'll, we are required to take some tracing information. And so we may be taking it the first time and then uh, issuing the people uh, a card so that they don't have to fill things out every time. And we're trying to not look like immigration officers with so much information being asked and things. We're trying to keep it to the basic, but we have some sort of a tracing uh, for people that come in. And we'll be supplying a salad and a dessert in each separate containers. And then we'll be supplying a meal with two sides and a main course, uh, all in uh, disposable materials. Uh, we've got about a month and a half worth of food that we had before. Uh, when I say that, it's the frozen meat type portion. Now, the other we get fresh or, or buy the vegetables and so forth. And uh, we'll have three tents outside. One will give away free breads and vegetables and people will speak to each other, masks, gloves, and, and everything. And the people that come through are required to have a mask. We may have to give them one and we'll ask them in the future they have their own. And then the next we will have a donation uh, table if somebody would like to give. Otherwise we may uh, keep sliding in the hole because this is not the normal circumstance. So I decided to have a donation box and hopefully some people will throw throw a few dollars in here and there and then the next will be the actual serving spot where people have brought the the containers out from the kitchen and then we distribute that we've also left a little area if people would like to have a prayer or a blessing uh, that they can, the little curve that we have in front of the shed out there, that little curve that you know, they might yeah. be able to drive off into that. And, and uh, Father has said that he may be available and some other pastors in the area may be available so that he doesn't have to do it all the time. But we felt for the first time, previously the lunch didn't really impress faith other than they were in the St. Bartholomew's building. We, we just didn't press other than an early prayer that we had uh, the faith association. We left people alone just to talk and do what they wanted. But this time we, under the circumstances, we just feel like there's somebody may like to have a blessing or a prayer or, or uh, a communion if Father feels that that fits. Yeah. We're just gonna, we're, we're just trying. This is something we don't know all what's going to happen. So we're gonna be open. We had to do a lot of planning for the core portion of it. 
but uh, then we'll see. We're just trying to make it so that some smiling faces can wave at somebody and or pull their little mask down and smile when somebody comes by and put it back up and and uh, we'll, we'll just try. If it's successful, then we're doing something good for the community. If it's not, then we'll reevaluate. Yeah. So Terry, did you have to reduce all this that you're just described to writing to get the approval from the authorities? Uh, you mean with regards to shutting off the street? Yeah. Uh, I got uh, the police and city manager to approve. Yeah. You didn't, but what you've just described, did you have to give a written description to them to do that? Or I'm just kind of curious in terms of the bureaucratic. I process. asked if they wanted anything else and uh, they said no. So uh, yeah. they gave permission. I, ha I still have to get the cones and uh, barricade from them. Uh, I can still ask. But I did ask if they wanted me to fill out any paperwork and that I didn't want somebody to all of a sudden show up and say, what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I just thank, thank, I bet you're thankful you did not have to reduce it all to writing. I am too. Anything to do with bureaucracy, stuff like that. But uh, it went clear to the city manager for approval. So. Be, and, and that gives uh, a nice safe area to work and the traffic from Walnut Grove and et cetera can uh, route around without any problem for them. And, and, and I think, uh, yeah, Bob is asking the right question, meaning for us, if uh, uh, we, 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 would pro we would not like to be part of the people contributing to any more spread. So the precautions have been taken. Uh, and uh, you're right, we, we're going to be very cautious, say we need this ministry, but not at the cost of uh, uh, causing any, any further spread of COVID. So, so thank you. Well, everybody be well, God bless you, and I will see you gradually. Uh, we, uh, Jeffrey and uh, and uh, Jim, we need to call some people in Australia and tell them we need uh, Australians on this Zoom service, okay? <laughs> so so talk, talk to all your friends everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Have bye. a great week. Thank God you. bless. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Peace be with you. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Good. So I can uh, leave the video now. Good, please do. Yes.